Sala, if you are you able to view my screen? If you are not giving any reply, I am going to give option to you. Yes, sir, visible. Well, so what I'm saying, uh, note down some points in your observation. Then I will give some programs. You need to execute that programs. After executing that programs, uh, you can write a uh, record. Right, this is the processor I have explained already. Some of uh, them all already completed the first program an introduction of uh, Angular JS, one way binding, two way binding, some directive attributes like ng app, model means ng model, ng controller, and view. I already explained it, but some are not. Uh, 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 listen, I think. Uh, so now I'm going to explain all those things in this session. So uh, everybody, so write some uh, important notes in your observation. Okay. So shortcut points. These are shortcut points. Those points I'm going to ask in Viva, or you will face that questions in interview also. Right? It's all of you. Are you ready now? Yes, sir. Why you are not giving reply? Uh, right. <clears throat> See, I think uh, you, we already know uh, some prerequisite concepts. So uh, Java, HTML, CSS, JavaScript and you learned uh, in web technologies like uh, JSP, uh, servlets, JDBC, right? So remembering uh, that concepts here. So you know in Java, you have learned about Java B that represents model, means that contains the information about any object, right? See, for example, you have one student one student. Now uh, you can say what is object means. Uh, object is an instance of class and uh, object is a real world entity. So Every entity, every physical entity means we can say uh, that is a physical entity. That means we can able to view that object, right? So uh, every object having state and behavior. Already you learned in Java, right? Every object having state and behavior. You know what is class, what is object. So what is class, ma? Yes, someone can replay. What is object? What is class? Yes, I love you. What is class? What is object? Uh, we define the attributes and methods uh, uh, in a class and we create a Objects is the instantiation of the class. Right. OK, right. Uh, now I'm going to explain all those things here clearly so that uh, um, Angular become easy by learning it. Uh, uh, see, uh, the class and object, how you can explain it. For example, as a mechanical engineer, you are uh, creating different types of cars like BMW car like that, right? Ambassador. OK, uh, while you are creating, so you need one sketch. OK, first that mechanical engineer creating a sketch for that. Based on that sketch here, these uh, objects are creating. What are the objects BMW car like that? So multiple objects are creating. 
by using that sketch. Here, sketch is what ma? Class. Okay. Class is a virtual thing here. Class is a blueprint. Class is a blueprint of one of that object. That means uh, every class having number of objects. Here, object is what type of the car you are able to view. Type of the car you are able to view. That is a physical thing, right? That is object. That is a real world thing. Okay, physical entity that you are able to view. Right? That is an object. I think you understand. You are clear about this. Your sketch, that raw sketch is what class. By using that sketch, you are creating multiple cars, multiple BMW cars, type of cars. So this type of cars is called an object here. You can able to view that car physically, but that class is a sketch. Okay, that is a blueprint for that objects, right? Or in uh, uh, programmatically, you can define classes uh, a blueprint of an object or class is a collection of data members and methods. And uh, you can define it many ways, but you should explain it clearly with one example. Right. Coming to object, object is is a uh, what is object ma? How you are defining it? Object is a instance of class or real world entity. Okay. So what is instance of an object? What is instance here? Instance means providing sufficient memory to that object. Okay, providing sufficient memory to that object. Are you understanding? Yes, uh, coming to a car. Someone please give me play. So car is an object or class. Yes, all of you. Car is an object or class. Fine art four, fine art five. It is a class. Sir. The specific car uh, class, yes. is an object. So type of car is called as object. Car you cannot view. Type of car, BMW car, you are able to view. That is physical entity. Train, you cannot view. Train is a blueprint there. Type of train you can view. So that is called an object. Now I think you are clear about uh, this object and class. So every object having state and behavior, right? What is state here, ma? What is state here? State means, for example, you have a student. Okay, student having what states? Student having student ID, student name, student address. So these are properties of a student, right? These are the state of that student. What is behavior here? What is behavior? What he, he, he what he can do? So this student can write, can play. Okay, uh, can read the book. These are the operations student can do, right? So student can do these multiple operations. Okay, these are the works. I think you understand, right? Student having state and behavior. State means student ID, student name, student address. Student can perform operations like writing, reading, playing, right? These are the behaviors. I think you understand, right? Now you are clear about the state and the behavior. Okay. So these things you are creating in one model class. In Java, you have created one model class. So how you can uh, create model class? You know encapsulation concept like uh, how you can create model, model class. Model means here uh, information, data about the student. Okay, student ID, student name, student address. For that you are creating one class. For that you are creating one class. Within that class, student class, you are creating student class and within that class you are creating student ID, student name, student address as the properties or attributes. So before that attributes, you are adding private keyword. So private keyword means you cannot access that data into another class. Okay, 
that means what you are providing security encapsulation providing what ma what is the reason we are using encapsulation what is encapsulation encapsulation wrapping up of data into single unit means through that we are uh, providing security so how you can achieve encapsulation through java bins so java bin means you have set of rules so instead of, that means you are writing all the properties inside the class okay you are uh, writing all the properties inside the class instead of that properties you are writing private access specifier that means you cannot inherit means you cannot use that uh, properties into child class all right so now how you can access that values so which value you want to access for that value you are creating setters and getters method set means you can add value and get means you can get that value in, in any class right creating object then you can add the value on that to that value you can uh, access in any other class right so that is the model here how you are representing here uh, main thing is what is model model is a data information right okay property student name student id this is the model right okay right i think you understand that about model next you know controller right in wt web technologies you have learned about mbc model view controller model view controller Yes, all of you. Are you getting my point? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Controller, All right? You have learned about this model view controller MVC architecture. So MVC architecture, you remember, right? So why is the use of model view and already I explained here what is model, how you are creating in the okay? And what is the view map? view presentation for developing view which of technologies you are using html css javascript you are designing one web page example you have a registration form you are creating one registration form with the username uh, password email id address uh, gender oh, you have different types of fields for the register button, you are clicking on that register page, right? Now, what you are doing, so you are able to view that UI, user interface. Able to enter some data, and you are clicking on that submit button, right? So that is a template, user interface, presentation. So by using HTML, CSS, JavaScript, and JSP, you are creating that type of pages in Java, okay, right? If you are clicking on that button, it is going to call controller, right? So what is the controller? What is the work of What is controller? Controller manages or control the model and view. Okay. Are you getting? What is the controller work? It operates the presentation and logical view. Yes, right. Very good. Right. So uh, in the server side programming while you are writing, so uh, you are sending request to the server dynamically and you are getting response from the server dynamically, right? So there you have used server layers. So there a uh, server layer acts as a controller. All right. So same thing you are going to use in Angular JS also. Okay. So uh, that is about MVC architecture. Okay. 
so these things you need to remember uh, while you are going to learn about angular js we are applying uh, mvc right uh, next so what are the prerequisites you need to learn while you are coming to angular js those are html css and javascript mainly javascript what is html what is html ma html hypertext markup language what is the use of it okay what is the use of it all of you what is the use of html we can provide structure to web pages or we can design the web pages by using html right one point next next what is about what about css css means cascading style sheet what is the use of this you are uh, style providing style, style to your html web page. yes we are adding style to that web pages uh, like colors fonts layers etc next coming to js coming to javascript you are adding behavior to our application you are adding behavior to that web page right i said already what is behavior yes are you remembering what is behavior behavior means performing particular work by using function right student having state and behavior student id student name student id these are the state of young student uh, writing reading playing these are the works of student so these are the behaviors so that means in angular js we are going to work with some of the functions we using functions okay all right uh, you know about angular js sorry you know about uh, javascript right so we can add behavior to web pages and we are validating we are uh, doing client side validation in this we have oops concepts also object of class inheritance polymorphism encapsulation okay these things are also available in angular js okay all right now coming to our concept angular js what is angular js what is angular js web framework framework i already discussed in the classroom i have given some ah uh, framework angular js is a javascript framework which type of framework it is javascript framework so coming to framework this framework here framework means what ma shortcut point not observation so shortcut point framework means it's a ready made architecture ready made architecture means what that means it is providing default configuration what is providing default configuration and uh it is used to uh, understand and it is used to write the code for the programmers okay it's providing architecture structure ready made structure uh, a default configuration it is providing those are used for what as a programmer you can understand easily and you are able to reuse that components and you can write easily right you can write the code easily so what is javascript uh, angular js here angular js is a javascript framework what is angular js is a javascript framework hmm. next point coming to this angular js so you should learn about type scripting also okay anyway uh, you know already that java, uh, browser can understand angular 
sorry uh, javascript only what browser can understand browser can understand javascript browser can understand only javascript can understand angular js no right so before this angular js we have type scripting what is that what is that man type scripting type script type script so uh, what is this the uh, type script so this is also like java language ma so this uh, type scripting is a compiled language what is this type type script compiled compiled language say compiled language okay uh, like java we need to compile that program and we need to run that program then you can able to execute okay so in this way we need to execute this type scripting for executing that type script we need node js software software so node js software we need this that node then uh, first you need to uh, install that angular js then install node js so any id you can use here like uh, atom sublime text okay uh, eclipse visible studio code so these type of uh, ids editors you can use for writing this ty uh, type scripting or an angular js right first you need to compile it by using node js software then you can run that program that means you are converting that uh, type scripting to angular js then you are going to run that program okay so who invented who are uh, who are maintaining this uh, type scripting who are maintaining this angular js so angular js maintained by google so google company time in doing this is framework what about this type scripting type scripting maintained by microsoft micro microsoft teams microsoft people have been maintaining this type scripting type scripting language what is scripting ma type scripting is a compiled language and it is and it is so what is type scripting type scripting is a compiled language type scripting is a compiled language and it is super set of javascript how you can define ma type script is yes, all of you is yes, all of you can you hear me am i audible yes sir So what is TypeScript here? TypeScript is a compiled language, and it is super set of JavaScript. So TypeScript is super set of JavaScript, and it is uh, the TypeScripting having oops, oops, uh, oops. Uh, what are the uh, concepts we have in Java regarding to oops? So those concepts are available in TypeScripting also, like this keyword. classes object inheritances interfaces all of these main caption all concepts are available okay this is inspired from shisha language okay invented by 
Microsoft people coming to our Angular JS maintained by Google. So which were you are using regarding Angular JS means Angular 7 we are using. So we are going to discuss about Angular 7. OK, Angular JS 7 we are using. Yes, all of you. I think you understood about all the concepts right here. Regarding to Angular JS, JavaScript, TypeScript. Yes, all of you. You were clear. MVC. Yes. Any doubts still here? Model means data. View means template, whatever you are able to view on the web page. That is the view and controller. So controller managing model and view model having data logic also we can write within the model. OK, that we can see in the Angular JS framework. So I'm going to show one program. So all of you uh, while I'm typing you also uh, type same thing. You also can create one folder. Download the uh, Angular JS library. Then type um, similar to me uh, so that you can understand easily. OK, so first note down that program in your observation. OK, some of them already completed. OK, just listen. Then uh, remaining programs also I will show now. So first understand this program. If you understand this simple program, one program, then you can understand all of the programs regarding to angular js one program now you can listen one program clearly so what are the uh, uh, important points i'm saying note down in your notebook also okay all right so uh, you know about uh, single page application multi page application what is single page application why you are coming to angular js ma this is a very very important point regarding to interview and why also. So you know by using uh, Java. So by using these technologies like uh, JSP, Savlets, JDBC and Java, you are able to create one multi page application, multi page request application. So uh, like uh, if you are using .NET framework, C -sharp program and .NET MVC, so there you are using uh, those technologies and creating one multi-page application request. Multi-page request application. OK. But coming to our AngularJS, uh, you can create single page application. Single page application. Important point now. What you are creating here by using AngularJS? Why you are coming for Angular JS? For creating SPS. SPS means single page application. So what is single page application here? What is multi page application? How you can know what is single page application? What is multi page multi page application? What is the difference between this single page application and multi page application? That I'm going to explain now. So single page application and multi page application coming to multi page application. See, I, I'm going to uh, explain with the example. So are you able to view only that uh, paint painted app? Are you able to view my browser? What I opened here? Yes, all of you. Yes, all of you. Okay, I should share it. Okay. Uh, see, so no points here. See, coming to application, multi page application, multi page application. Yeah. 
this is client and this is server. So we were sending requests to the uh, server from client to server and you are getting response back. All right, many applications, same process you are following. To the client, you are sending request and you are getting response. So sending request and you are getting response. In multi-phase application, you can say one example like uh, Amazon. Amazon. So uh, this is one website. You can say example for multi-phase application. So in this multi-phase application, so while you are sending request to the server, in multi-phase application, you are sending request client to server, right? So for every request, for every request, all web page, all web page will get loaded. All web page will get loaded for every request. For every request, it is going to load. That means what? For every request, you need to uh, load all web page. All web page we need to load. That means what? The speed and, and performance going to be low comparing to single phase application. Okay. That means so every request, whole page we going to whole page going to be loaded, right? Yes, all of you are getting. Coming to single page application, SPS. Coming to single page application, here client to server or sending request to the server. So here once loaded all the web page, then while you are sending requests, so here first will be data to data. You are sending a request to the server as a data and you are getting responses data, data to data. Means uh, you are sending requests as a data and you are uh, getting responses as a data, data request, not all the web page. So here it is not loading, it is not loading every time. It is not loading every time. I love you. Are you understanding? What are the examples we can say? Here we can say a YouTube is example. YouTube website next Gmail. Gmail. Yes, I love you. Uh, some of the points you need to remember here. So in multi-page request, uh, for every requesting, all web page will get loaded. In single page application, so it is not like a multi-page request application, just uh, you are sending a data as a request and you are getting data as a response, so that uh, there is uh, no loading, okay? There is no loading. That means here there is no old web page will get loaded. All right. That means what is best man regarding to performance? Single application, multi page application. Yes, all of you. Which one is best? Single page. Single phase application, sir. Single phase application. Yes. Why? Why my single phase application? It's fast and performance.
see a visual here. Now you are able to view my browser. Is all of you? No, sir. I share, right? E3. Are you able to view my browser? Yes, sir. Huh? Sir, I no. Sir. I'm not getting your voice clearly, ma. It's visible, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, yes visible, right? Hmm. See, I said right for single page application. YouTube is the example for single page application. Now I am running to. I opened a YouTube website here. So first it is loaded. Observe. You. You can see that options. Home, explore, shorts, subscription, library, history. Is my voice clear? Yeah, I Yes, am I audible? Yes. Yeah, right. Yes. Are you able to view my screen? YouTube. So now, right? Yes, all of you. Observe here. Symbol. Already you have seen. So if I click, I am giving data to data request. I have options here. Uh, explore subscription and all. I am clicking on subscription. So is it loading here in the title bar? It's not loading, right? It's all of you. It is not loading. So, but here what is happening? Data to data request is happening. What is happening? Data to data request. We are sending data as a request and we are getting data as a response. Okay. This is about single page application. Coming to multi page application. Multi page application, what I said, what example I am saying? Which, which website, ma? Yes, all of you. Multi page application. I have given an example. I have given, I have, I said one uh, uh, website, Amazon. So here it is loading. Every site while you are starting, your whole web page will get. Okay. Share your screen. Sorry. Sir, once area screen again, so it's stuck. Now,
Tahu, Pak? Yes, all of you. Now you are getting. No, sir. No. Is all of you now? E3? E3? Am I audible? Can you hear me? Yes, sir. We need also visible. Okay. Uh, now you are able to view Amazon website, right? So it's already loaded. You have a link request here. OK, link request. So you are trying to click on uh, one link. Seema, observe here. You are able to view loading symbol here. So for every request, for every request, for every request it is loading. All web page, all web page will get loaded. All web page will get loaded. See here, for every request it is loading. For every request, it is loading. Are you getting? So for every request, all web page will get loaded. That means multiple requests going to reach the server and it is giving response. All right. So that's why the multi page application is slow regarding to performance comparing to a single page application. That's why uh, many pages, many websites we are building with Angular JS by using Angular JS as a single page applications. All right. I think you are clear about this, right? What is single page application? What is multi page application? What is the difference between multi page application and single page application? All right. Next, binding. You know about binding? Binding means what ma? Binding means combining two things. Right? So now in Angular JS, you are using binding concept uh, uh, regarding to in uh, MVC, like uh, combining that uh, model and view. It's providing connection between model and view. Model and view. We have two types of bindings. 
we have two types of bindings. How many types we have? Two types. First one, one-way binding. Second one is two-way binding. Coming to one-way binding, it is has only one direction. Okay, model to view. That is model to view. That means that model data we are uh, inserting into HTML code. Insert it into HTML page. All right. So here binding between model and view. Here binding between model and view. So if that binding between model and view, vice versa, means model to view and view to model, that is called two-way binding. That means uh, we have communication between link between that uh, a model to view means presentation and presentation to that model. OK. Now you I think you are clear about this all the topics, right? Now I'm going to start. Real uh, uh, Angular JS application. All screen. Yes, all of you. Uh, are you able to view my screen? What you are able to view now? Yes, sir. Paint. So I'm closing this website. All right. Some examples I'm going to discuss now. See, yes, all of you. Are you in my uh, screen? Desktop screen? So just create one folder here. Yes, all of you. Create one folder. Angular JS. I have created one folder. Yes, all of you. Are you able to view my screen or not? This is very, very important. By using this process, procedure, you are able to create AngularJS applications. C4. Sir, uh, screen is visible, sir. Screen is visible, right? Mm, yes, sir. OK. Yes, sir. That means I have created AngularJS folder. Are you able to view that folder, right? Yes, sir. Yes. OK, open that folder. Same process you need to follow while you are creating AngularJS applications. So whatever the steps I'm creating, just write down those steps in your notebook, observation notebook. So next here you can create JS folder. Open that JS folder. Uh, first I will show. Uh, our HTML file, then we can go for AngularJS, right? JS folder created. Uh, here I'm creating one text file. Okay, open that text file. So I'm writing HTML code. First, I'm going to create one HTML file. HTML, HTML. Next, tell me all of you. Know this code, right? HTML head body close the HTML inside the head. So, if you want to load that Angular JS, external Angular JS, or external JavaScript. You know, right? What script I need to write here for calling external JavaScript file? What tag I need to write? 
script type equal to text slash javascript src equal to that file name you are giving that path path and file name right same here also script src script src equal to that file name so that file is available in js folder later i will show okay slash script next this is for what ma this line is for what script src we are loading external angular js library here then uh, so for representing this is regarding to angular js ng app is the attribute direct to attribute what is ng app here sl of you what is ng app ng app ng app is a angular js direct to attribute what is the use of ng app note down this point mark ng app is a angular js direct to attribute which is used for which is used for initializing initializing angular js framework okay by using this attribute what you are doing you are initializing angular framework here okay that name you can give my app okay so i have given name next in the body i am going to write ng hyphen controller and controller name my controller names and all your wish ma you can give any name okay right ng hyphen controller what about this attribute what is the use of these attributes so the, this is acting like a controller this attribute represents what this acts as a controller controller means what ma it is managing model and view right in mvc architecture all right next so i am going to take one div tag paragraph tag i am taking that para hello so before that so uh, you know how to create text field right what what script i need to write what code i need to write input type equal to text at the text field you are giving name name equal to name here then here what is this data data means what ma model model and model name is name as all of you that's a small example you learn this example you can complete that uh, two way binding and uh, some of the attributes and basic the uh, uh, structure of this angular js regarding to mvc okay this is model this is controller okay this is view you are going to display the name here this is view it is completed okay uh, you are adding some extra attributes to the html file what attributes those are those are regarding to which technology angular js so you are adding extra angular js attributes to html file what you have done till now you are adding extra angular js extra attributes to html file 
now creating actual angular js script okay so those script available in script tag slash script right yes all of you are you getting are you clear any doubts you can ask ma so now you are creating angular js source code so angular dot angular framework dot module you are creating module here module and with the module name module name so that means app name you have given already that app name you should give here app module yes all of you are you getting what is module what is angular module here angular mod angular dot module is a global space for creating uh, uh, registering or uh, retrieving angular js modules okay what is angular dot module ma you say global place for creating registering retrieving angular js modules okay that means you are creating modules you are registering modules okay you are retrieving modules here okay right angular dot module of module name comma dependency what is this rectangle box dependency okay now you know variables data types in javascript here also we have same so it is a strong type right that means you know need to uh, write type of that variable like data type you know need to write here like uh, int is int or number or boolean a string okay just you are writing var automatically it, it will convert whatever data it is data type it is okay strong type it is static okay right that means you are storing here from app you are going to create controller okay controller controller name what is controller here so what the controller name we have given already in html we added one extra attribute right ng controller yes all of you so that control name you can give here app dot controller of my uh, controller name comma function function uh, controller followed by a function then the function having scope parameter so now that function has opened here okay so what is scope my here is all of you can you hear me or not no one are replying ma this is no yes, use sir. getting voice right yes sir yes sir okay see what is scope here what i have written here dollar scope what is dollar scope here you know controller access uh, ng control acts as a controller controller means managing model to view or view to model right uh, then angular dot module what is angular dot module so is a global place for creating or uh, retrieving angular js modules you are creating angular js modules in this place so different modules you can create right so uh coming to our dollar scope function dollar scope in the function is followed by the controller in the function you are writing dollar scope what is dollar scope what is the use of it why you are using here this dollar scope is built in object built in object dollar scope is what ma angular js built in object so that contains 
application data and methods what it contains ma what type of things we can write within this it contains data and methods so that you can create properties to a dollar scope object so that we can create properties to a dollar scope objects inside the controller function and again uh, and you can assign a value or you can assign a function to it okay so now i can show that one see uh, for that dollar scope built in object you are assigning value how dollar scope dot scope dot name equal to i'm right now i am giving empty ma i will show you or i can give value here first zero kumar okay all right dollar scope dot name equal to shiv kumar i have given okay what is scope here angular js built in object what it contains application data and methods what you can do here you can create properties for dollar scope object inside the controller function that means we can assign a value or a function to it that means it transfers data from controller to view and view to controller what is the use here main mainly it transfers data from controller to view and view to controller vice versa are you able to understand right so what is your module here we are creating module right here module is a container of different parts this is the module it's a container of different parts okay different parts of an application such as controller service not only this in later concepts we have services filters directives okay factories etc that means it supports a uh, separation of concern using modules so angular js stops uh, polluting global scope by containing angular js specific functions in the module okay so this module is what here module is a container what container contains different parts of an application such as controllers services filters etc i think you understand right you are clear about these all attributes yes all of you now i'm going to show this one you are going to uh, uh, save this one save as so uh, typing in the file i am giving file name here index.html okay index.html i am saving okay so now i am opening this file i am running this file see i am opening this file there we are Oh, browser. See here. So, whatever uh, you are trying to type something, I should display that message in binding with hello. Okay. Now, is it working? No. Why? Why, ma? Why? I did not download that library file, right? angular framework file where it is available angular angular js dot org angular js dot org this is the website you can download that file angular js dot org is all of you now you can click on download angular js here you can find that cdn cdn means content durability network content durability network that means uh, while you are using this link okay uh, internet must if internet available only you can run your script otherwise we cannot access right so that's why i am showing this one in offline 
how means so copy that link here paste in on the browser so uh, here you can able to view the code of angular js right click control a you are selecting all the code and copy that code going to your folder structure what you created already here you are created one js folder inside that js folder so you are going to create one another js like see here i am opening this one opening control v and file save as angular dot js extension is what ma js only so save here i saved okay just check here javascript file yes all of you now where we are I'll tap where is our script ma see now you need to load that file right external library file ajax uh, this angular js this jquery this all from javascript only javascript library files we are using i said right framework means say ready made architecture that contains default configuration attributes and all we are using reusing it right so now we are calling that angular angular dot js okay you are loading now that refresh that one so already we have loaded right as yes, all of you just to refresh that one see here shiva kumar and shiva kumar as yes, all of you someone can reply me yes sir yes sir you understand right so this field we have created text box field for the text box data represents what model right and by using ng model attribute so the model data we are accessing view to uh, sorry uh, that model to view so this model data whatever we are entering that data we are displaying in paragraph right presenting this strong strong yes you can go to browser refresh that browser here see ma So you are displaying data from model to view. You are passing data to model, and you are displaying here. How it is possible through Angular JS, Angular dot module. You are creating one module here, so that contains many controllers and services, right? So we are creating one controller and controller name that we have given already here for app. We have given the name here. Okay, you loaded that Angular JS file and. Uh, you are initializing that uh, angular js framework here then uh, you added extra attributes regarding to angular js it acts as a controller and it acts as a model and it acts as a view so this flower brackets you uh, have learned already in jsp direct view attributes direct view pages right so and for displaying data in jsp okay displaying expression We are using less than percentile equal to percentile uh, some uh, name and a uh, percentile greater than right? Yes, all of you are you understanding? So uh, like that we have uh, using these flower brackets, double flower brackets. We are displaying the data. Okay, uh, through the dollar dot name, dollar scope dot name. so I, i initialized value here for this name for this name we are initializing this value that we are going to display here are you understanding is yes, all of you ma note down that points 
so some of important points ma that are not available in your uh, material also okay now you can note down so what is a dollar scope here dollar scope is a built in object built in object which contains application data and methods so that you can create properties to a dollar scope objects inside the controller function and assign a value of a value or a function uh, it transfers data from controller to view and view to controller vice versa next what is module module is a container of different parts of an application like such as uh, controller services filters direct use okay that means it uh, supports uh, it supports separation of concern using the modules here angular js stops polluting global scope by containing angular js specific functions in a module okay uh, that is about module okay why you are writing angular dot module here here angular dot module is a global place for creating retrieving and registering angular js modules i think you understand right yes all of you have you understood any doubts still here yes all of you any doubts seema here now i am going to remove this data i am not assigning data to name so i am removing the data i have given empty empty means so there is no modal data whatever i am entering into that text field that data i need to show in the web page see i am refreshing this one refreshing now i am entering some data here see here whatever data i am typing that i am able to view so this is data binding so model to view as yes, all of you i think you understand right if you say you have understood then i can go for next program otherwise i am trying to explain this program only everyone hmm can i move to another program yes why not four why not four only three members are replying here remaining members are not discussing if you discussing only you can understand angular js okay angular js having many opportunities nowadays okay you can become a full stack developer also by using angular js instead of using that java and all you can go for angular js you can develop single page application instead of multi page application the sala few have boom very good boom regarding to angular js any doubts in this program each and every attribute uh, you know right purpose of this attribute ng app for what ma ng app is a angular js directive attribute used for initializing angular js framework coming to this script you are loading external angular js angular js file what you have downloaded from the internet instead of this angular and also cdn means i already said right you can go for angular js dot org website so in that website you have download option if you click on that download of option you can find that url cdn directly that cdn url you can give here where you can give here 
so instead of this you can write but why i am using this one so if there is no internet i cannot access that attributes values from i cannot access that angular js framework into my html file okay if i am doing some operation in offline also i, I should do right so that I, I, I open that file and I copied that code and do text to text to text editor and saved with the angular dot with the extension of dot js. Okay, now I call it in this way. Next, ng controller. We added some extra attributes regarding to angular js that is ng controller, ng model and all right. So ng controller represents what? ng controller represents is access a controller okay ng model attributes represents what so access a model this expression represents what you are able to view right presentation now mvc is completed here model view and controller have you understood that MVC architecture here? Next, actual JavaScript, uh, the actual that uh, Angular JS script we have written here. So you can see. So I have given empty, empty data. Refresh the browser. So that means whatever you are trying to enter, that will display here. In hello, okay. To a binding, to a binding example. Next, sir, can I write? Can I simplify this code? Can I write in single line? Yes, I can write in single line. All of you observe here. I'm not storing in one variable. Just directly, I'm writing here. Angular dot module of module name comma dependency. What is this rectangle box mark? I am using here. This is a dependency which represents dependency dot controller then controller name comma function. Function having scope. So that scope regarding to scope. So here scope is what? Build in object build in object of angular JS. Module is what you see a container. It's all of you. Scope. So within the scope, what I can do by using this scope, I can have data and methods. I can assign the value and assign the function. This way we'll see here. Okay. Any doubts still here? Is all of you? Is all of you? Okay, leave it here. Now I am going to going to show another example. Again, I am writing control Z. Where I can write this ng app attribute or ng controller or ng, mo ng model, we can write within any text field. But ng controller, ng model, where we ng uh, app, where we can write within the HTML tag, within the body tag, or within the due tag. Okay. Here yeah, I am going to write some expression. Or you can write here or here wherever. 
ng hyphen app. I'm giving empty here. Next. Uh, iPhone in it initializing equal to a equal to 10 comma b equal to 20. Okay, I want to display this result result a plus b a plus b. We have different examples here. One by one, we can see. The sample example we have seen already. Uh, in this material, you can see that CDN URL. So instead of that, I have used uh, downloaded that file and uh, used in local. OK, so that I can uh, reuse that code in offline also. So uh, Seema, this example. Uh, same example only, right? So, uh, ng app attribute I have used in uh, HTML, but you can use body tag also, do tag also, no problem. And uh, next, uh, for representing view part, okay. So, do ng controller, controller name, then uh, that I'm going to display the data that I'm going to give in the script angular js script see here in the controller part so in controller part angular dot module of my app dependency dot controller of controller name comma function dollar scope dollar scope dot hello to so just I'm giving here just a uh, flower bracket that means you are not giving anything here uh, that binding to here to here dollar scope hello to dot title what you are accessing in the view what you are accessing hello dot title hello dot hello to dot title what you have assigned for that variable what data you have assigned old angular js okay that means while you are displaying this one, so whatever data we have given here, that going to be displayed here. Okay, this is regarding to your part. This is regarding to controller part. Okay, All right. You can see this example once. So I'll say you can write many ways you can write Angular JS program. Yes, Salafi, any doubt still here, ma? No, sir. In Angular JS, nothing you need to learn. Just to, uh, the purpose of attributes. What is the use of it? How we can use it? Because this is a framework. You no need to write scratch level and worse. Scratch code. You need no need to write. Everything available. 
you need to reuse the tattoos on. So this is controller part. Within the script, you are writing this Angular JS code. All of you, just you can run this program. I think you understand, right? This code, CDN. If internet available only, this link will work. Otherwise, you can write. Already, you have given, uh, you have give, uh, downloaded file, right? JS slash Angular dot JS. Write that line, and you can access. Instead of this, if you want to write, so that. I, but I am showing both ways here. So last time, just now uh, you have seen uh, in offline how you can run Angular JS. Now you can see by using CDN. Hello, old Angular JS. Yes, all of you. This is working right? See? Hello. I have written here. So we are concatting. So we are uh, writing expression here. How you can call this one, this data. So you are assigning the data with the dollar scope, with the variable name hello dot title, hello two dot title, hello two dot title having this data. Then it is going to display hello word angular js this is the output have you understood yes all of you any doubts sir no sir okay very simple examples these are next sima here these all programs you need to execute in your laptop okay the next time you should show that what you practiced then only i can consider your attendance and i am going to give internal marks also okay right second example see i said uh, expression tag so how you can initialize that variables values and how you can perform that operations arithmetic operation whatever see here ma you have another attribute you are going to learn another attribute about ng in it ng ng represents what why i am writing ng 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 is it having any abbreviation yes all of you ng means angular only ng means what angular init initialization so we are initializing values a equal to 5 b equal to 5 then a into b that's it. Are you understanding? Yes. Uh... Yes. We can see here. I am removing all of this thing. Here, ng hyphen in it equal to equal to what ma quantity cost. Just you can represent those are like variables. Okay, a equal to ten, b equal to a equal to ten, b equal to twenty. Then, then the result you are going to display result. Okay. Result, how you can display? Good. What is this symbols ma? Flower brackets. By using this, what I can do? I can display. These are the expression tag. Okay. So A plus B. So just to refresh that one. So result is 30. 
all of you. You can perform any operation like that. Simple way I am showing, but you are, while you are writing record and record, you must write this concept only. Okay, for your understanding, I am simplifying this. Ng in it. Now I think you understand, right? Next, next concept is what ma? What we discussed? Data binding. Data binding means what? Binding the data. In MVC architecture, what you are binding? Model to view, view to model. View. We have two types of bindings here. What are those? Yes, all of you. What are those binding? One way binding and two way binding. Oh, are you remembering? So yes. these are the concepts we are going to discuss here: number, string expression, object binding and expression, working with array, so uh, forgiving behavior, understanding data binding, Angular JS versus JavaScript. These concepts we can discuss. Now time is 11:15, right? Please discuss this, this theory. You know, right? Already you have done so many operations regarding to JavaScript. You have variables performing automatic operations, and that means you are creating a variables. Okay, uh, you are writing a number type, or string type expression, object. For creating object, you are adding value to that object and displaying that data, and you have used arrays, right? So those concepts also we can do by using Angular. This we will discuss one by one. See first Angular JS data binding. See data binding means what ma? What is the use of this data binding? Data binding is a very useful and powerful feature used in software development technologies, as you know, where we are using this acts as a bridge between view and business logic. That is a model. Business logic means model only. So that means what? It is a bridge between what ma? It is binding, binding between view and model. So Angular JS follow two-way data binding model. So we have two types here: one-way data binding and two-way data binding. Uh, in one-way data binding is an approach where value is taken from data model and inserted into HTML element. Right now you have seen right. So we are uh, where value is taken from data model. That means you are creating a text field. Input type equal to text to name equal to name and G hyphen model equal to name you have given. That means your data you are inserting into HTML. Okay, there is no way to update model from view, uh, and uh, it is uh, used in classical template system. The system bind data in only one direction. One way data binding means what ma? One direction. Coming to two way data binding, this having to two way data. Two way data binding. That means model to view, view to model, vice versa. If if you are changing data in model, it is going to reflect on the view. Uh, if you are any doing changes in view, it is going to reflect on model also. That is two way data binding. The data binding in Angular apps is the automatic synchronization of the data between the model and view components. Model and view components. Here, the data binding lets you treat the model as uh, the single source of truth in your application. The view is a projection of the model at all the times. If the model is changed, if the model is changed, then the view reflects the changes. Vice versa means model to view, view to model. That I have explained. Okay. So if you are changing data in the model. You get reflected. If you changing data in view, uh, model get get uh, reflected. See here, two-way data binding. View here, template. Compile view and model. So from model have model change to model updates the view. Okay, it is updating here. Change to view and update the model. So this will continuous update model is here. See. This example we have seen. I said right already. Uh, I have uh, covered MVC. So under the attributes, how it is using under schema here. So here, uh, here don't forget. 
while you are initializing these values, don't give uh, the tab name here. Okay, so you will not get expression. So ng init. So you are initializing first name. Uh, give some name. Then uh, in the you are creating one text field. So that ng model name is first name that you are displaying here. That means whatever data I have given initialized here, that data I am displaying. That means what I'm declaring int a equal to 10. Then I am displaying that in Java system dot out dot print ln of a that I'm displaying, right? Same thing here. I'm initializing and displaying. So in the above example, the first name expression is an angular JS data binding expression. The data binding in angular JS binds angular JS expression with the angular JS data data to view. Okay, here first name is bound with ng model. Okay, right. Coming to second example, Sima here, same. So uh, uh, here you can use either ng init attribute or you can use data ng app or data ng init. Okay, so these attributes, variables. So quantity, quality A equal to 1, B equal to 20. So I am giving uh, quantity in the text box and uh, I'm giving A value and B value. Okay, in the text boxes. Then I am displaying A into B here. Okay, model to view. It's all of you. Here, two text fields are bound together with the two ng model directives. You can view like this any models, ma. like you are creating text box, username, password, email ID, address. So whatever uh, for the data, you can give ng model attribute. You can use ng model attribute. Okay, so that, that data we can view within the web page. Okay. Do you want to see this example output? Yes, all of you. Yes, all of you. You people are there or not? Why you are not giving reply? Yes. Uh... So I have created two text fields here, ng model quality and one uh, price. Those they uh, those uh, data already I have inserted here, quantity and price. I have initialized the value. So uh, here I am displaying that value. See here, the browser you can view. Uh, refresh, quality one. Quantity two, one into one into twenty, one into twenty twenty. See, I can change here. Twenty. Two, uh, three hundred. So automatically it is coming, right? Binding ma. You are not clicking on submit button, right? You are not uh, creating submit button form and all. Just you are entering the data into this text field, then automatically you bind the data and you are able to view on the web page. Yes, sir. All right. This is what we need to observe here. Next. Next, angular expression. This is also we discussed already. Within one example, I explained the MVC architecture, expression, all on. Same thing he you know, in above example also we have seen right expression how we can write expression. Ma, uh, you can write expression in two ways by using this flower bracket. Okay, or you have one another attribute called ng bind attribute. What is that attribute name? Ng bind. Okay, you have two attributes to display your data on the web page as expression. What is those attributes? 
So first one is flower bracket, flower braces. Okay. So and second one is ng bind attribute. In Angular JS, expressions are used to bind the application data to HTML. Okay. Angular JS resolves the expression and return the result exactly where the expression is written. Okay. That is very useful, right? Okay. Where you have written that that uh, in that place only it is displaying. In Angular JS, expressions are represented in two ways. First one, you are writing uh, uh, inside the double braces. You are writing that expression inside the double braces. This is the syntax that you have seen already. You know, uh, if it is five plus five means it is a strong type and a static type, right? That means what? Uh, you no need to write a uh, number, string, or boolean. Automatically, it will convert. If you are writing five plus five, it is displaying ten. If you are writing names, string type, it is concatting. You know concat operator, right? Plus you can use in string operations. Yes, I love you. Next, that we can display. And another way how you can uh, display the expression means by using ng bind. What is the attribute name? Ng bind equal to expression. See. Uh, for example, if you are uh, displaying uh, the multiplication like a quality into quantity. So you are writing in the flower bracket quality into quantity, right? Now you can write here or take one any uh, tag regarding to HTML. If it is paragraph tag or strong tag within the strong tag, you can write ng bind equal to quantity into cost. OK, by using this attribute, you can display that data. See that we can see here example. So, so instead of this, yes, all of you, you have seen this, right? Within the flower braces you have used, but I am using here. What I need to write ma? What attribute I need to write? ng hyphen bind equal to what? Quantity into price. Quantity into price. So that we have already initialized. That I have already initialized. The quantity into price without using that flower braces. I can display by using ng attribute. See here, ng attribute, ng bind attribute I have used right. Instead of flower braces, I am displaying 20 here. That I already initialized. See here, 40. And see. So instead of using, yes, all of you, instead of using that flower braces, I'm using ng app attribute. This is the syntax we need to follow while we're writing ng bind attribute. Yes, all of you, any doubt still here? Are you clear about this? Till here, you need to practice, you need to write in the observation. Then while you are, are uh, Completed complete write in the observation that you can write in record also. Yes, all of you. Yes, sir. Okay. In the next session, we will continue regarding to all of this one by one attribute we can learn and each attribute purpose and all those things. Okay. Uh, I will upload this document in your teams. Okay. Just download, read once. As it is, you can write in your record. Okay, but practice practice purpose, you can use your observation. 